Well, good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. And I'm glad that we start off the day together again as we move day by day toward that wonderful time of Christmas. Christmas can be a difficult time for many people. It can be a decidedly lonely time. Ruth Haley Barton suggests that the only time we don't feel lonely, that there's no sense of loneliness, the only time when we have a deep and true sense of our being united with God is when we are intentionally in places of solitude. I wonder if you've had the opportunity to experience deep solitude. I wonder if you would agree with that. She suggests that we can experience moments that have a sense of completeness in the midst of a busy and peopled world. But most times, these moments are fleeting and they give only a taste of what we long for deep within our hearts. No matter how beautiful such moments are, they are often fraught with a painful awareness of human separateness. In other words, no matter how close you are to someone, you are still alone, you are still apart from them. Even apart from those we love most. And we are left trying to manage our unruly tendency to cling and grasp, to control and to manipulate, to fix and fill in order to numb the pain of separateness. But in solitude we find rest from all of that. And for a time it is as if we have come to touch to touch the deep current of truth that runs beneath everything. All things have already been reconciled in Christ, even those that seem broken and beyond repair. In solitude we know that even those things that seem irreconcilable are somehow reconciled in Christ. Everything is already one through the person and work of Christ in the timelessness that is God. When we are in solitude, God is so real and so present. His presence fills the space the time, the being around us. And there is nothing else we would rather be doing than being present to the fullness of the God who loves us. The people we love are with us in God's presence and we can have a deep sense of togetherness in spite of being apart. After a time of solitude, when we come out of places of quiet and we re-engage with life in community, we come to a place of living from that deeply rooted space of union with God, so that there is indeed the peace that passes all understanding Nothing in the external world has changed, but we have changed. And that is what the people around us need more than anything. And so I would like us to try a simple exercise. Choose a place that feels comfortable and safe to you. 
a place that allows you to be open and available to God. Settle into a comfortable position in your body and sit quietly for a few moments, breathing deeply. Becoming aware of God's presence with you and your desire to be present with God. Now, sit quietly at the base of the tree that is your life and begin to notice what is true about you these days. Don't rush or try to make anything happen. Let your soul venture out and say something to you that perhaps you have had a hard time acknowledging Is there a particular joy that you are celebrating? Is there a loss that you are grieving? Are there tears that have been waiting to be shed? Is there a question that is stirring? Is there an emotion that needs expression. Sit with what comes into your awareness. Become conscious of God's presence with you in that awareness. Don't try to do anything with what you are knowing, except be with it. In other words, don't scare it away. Feel the difference between doing something with it and resting with it. Can you feel the difference? What does it mean for you to be still and to let God fight or work for you in this particular area? Practice this way of entering into solitude regularly until it becomes routine for you to begin your times of solitude by being quiet and letting your soul come out and then rest in God's presence. You will be surprised at what your soul wants to say to God. There are many other ways of being with God in solitude, which we will explore later. But for now, take time to allow this ability to rest in God, become the foundation of your times in solitude. And if you want to play this reflection again, please do stopping where you need to have more time. God bless and God keep you. Amen.